Montero is directed by Spencer Cohan and Anna Halberg and is currently playing in theaters. This also stars Jacob Batalon. You know, the same dude who's, uh, who's uh, played in Spider-Man, you know, played Spider-Man's best friend and also was the comic relief. He is also the comic relief in this movie. I'm going to say this right now. If this movie was rated R, if only if it was rated R, dude, it would have been so much better, man. But let's get into it. So you have college buddies kicking it, partying, partying at this house, playing games, drinking, getting fucked up. You know, the, the works. What college teens do, right? So they run out of beer and decide to look, you know, look for more liquor in the house. And, of course, they find this basement door that's locked up and says, do not enter. But, of course... They break into it and they enter it. <laughs> so, as they're in the as they're in search of more booze, they come across these cards, tarot cards. <laughs> Anyways, though, <laughs> and uh, these cards they have the creepy ass pictures on them, you know, and they start telling each other's futures and stuff. And then a few days later, they start dying one by one by this scary looking creature or entity, if you want to call it that. Yeah, dude, it's too bad it was PG-13 because there's some pretty de decent creepy scenes as well as... Ah, oh, this would have been some good de death sequences, dude. If they actually showed people getting their asses worked. But instead, like they normally do in like these, you know, these sort of uh, PG-13 flicks where you know they'll show the person about to die, then it cuts to the ground or some other area, you know, and you, you get that whack-ass like, little slab of digital blood and screams and shit. Or you see their facial reaction when they're dead, you know, and it's just like, oh... I hate it personally because you know this is what you're going to get through the entire movie. So it's like, what the fuck am I watching it for? I might as well watch this on goddamn television if I wanted this bullshit, right? But yeah, yeah, so yeah, this movie's no different, though. I mean, and what sucks is this movie's actually kind of decent, I'll be honest with you. I mean, it's not that long of a movie, and this is the one thing I liked about it. The exposition, dude, and this, it's all in the first 15 minutes, dude. And then shit just pops off right after that. I mean, seriously, dude. I mean, with dumb teams, you know, you got dumb teams in it, dude. So you just can't wait to see them die. So, I mean, shit, you know, it's, it's on. And there's a scene that, like I said, the rated R part, man. There's a scene in here, man. If it were rated R, would have been one of those, like, oh, would have been a badass scene. One of those scenes you'd actually talk about for years to come, dude. I'm serious, man. But really, I'll just say this. It has to deal with a casket. That's all I'll say. There's no spoilers after that, though. But God damn it! It was so creative, dude. It's just, it almost felt like someone else directed it, dude, because it was... It was just done so differently compared to the rest of the movie, though, man. But if it was bloody, dude, if you saw more, it would have been so much better. God damn it! So, let's see what else to complain about. <laughs> Mr. Complaint Department in the house. Uh, oh, here we go. So, yeah, I have... Um, so, the, the main the main antagonist or the main bad guy or bad girl, demon monster, whatever you want to call it, just wasn't that scary, dude, because of how it was presented. I mean, you saw too much of it. Plus, there were barely any good creepy close-ups of the thing to really instill the fear in you, you know, where you're actually freaked out, like, God damn, this thing is fucked up. You know, get you all scared and just, you know, ready to fucking go, you know, but I'll say this, there are some decent pop-up scares for sure, though, man, I mean, which actually surprises me, honestly, so kudos on that, yeah, there's some good ones in there, so if you watch it, yeah, got that to look forward to at least, though, so, but when it comes to watching this, though, I'm not sure if I can recommend it, I mean, don't get me wrong, like I said, there, there's some good PG-13 horror flicks, depending on how they're done and what the content is in them. This one, I feel, should have been rated R, you know, for the simple fact that the kills, they needed to be brutal. I'm not saying NC-17 brutal, though, but it needed blood, dude. It needed blood bad. And, you know, ugh. and not this, like, turn away bullshit that you don't see anything happen, just little blood splatter shit, dude. It just, ugh, man, it just dropped the ball. And the movie didn't do that well in the box office, so that tells you something right there. But let's be real, though. I mean, it's obvious the studios were trying to get the teens in. And so, obviously, it wasn't really targeted towards guys like me or people like me. So, it is what it is. I mean, think about it. You got Jacob Batalon, dude, from Spider-Man in it. So, I mean, obviously, they're trying to get the teens to watch this one. So, it does make sense. So, yeah, like I said, just not made for me. It is what it is. I'll just say this. Interest your own risk is the best thing I can tell you. But my recommendation is also a PG-13 horror flick. And uh, <laughs> I like this one a lot. It is directed by Sam Raimi, and it is called Drag Me to Hell. About a lone officer who evicts an old woman from her home, finds herself the recipient of a supernatural curse. Desperate, she turns to a seer. I think that's how you pronounce it, seer, seer. 
to try and save her soul. Kill your soul, I'll swallow your soul, I'll swallow your soul. <laughs> While Evil Force works to push her up to a breaking point, dude. Anyways, though, this is a classic Raimi style horror flick, minus the blood. But it actually works, though. I mean, this one didn't need to be all bloody, though. And that ending, dude. That ending. Plus, I'll admit to you, look, I'm biased, though. I mean, I'll, because, look, it's Evil, Evil Dead 2. It's the greatest horror movie of all time. The greatest movie of all time, in my opinion, which is also directed by Sam Raimi. So, you know, hey, if you don't agree, it's okay. But I'm just letting you know, this is what Shane Nasty says. That's how he feels. It is what it is. Stay nasty, my friends. That's it. But anyhow, though, <laughs> it's, uh, oh, anyways, the movie's do it's actually available on YouTube. But, uh, yeah, that's all for the day. Stay nasty, my friends, and I will see you at the next one. Stay nasty out. I'll see you soon. Like and like subscribe. And subscribe.